<laughs> just need to tell you all of my thoughts. Good morning, happy Sunday, and happy start to another week, another little Sunday to Saturday is the goal for this vlog. Hi, my name is Anna. If you are new, I'm so glad you're here, and if you are one of my lovely, lovely subscribers, I'm so super glad you're here. I feel like we got a fun start to this week. Zach and I went to Stone Mountain this morning to go hiking, and so hiked all the way up to the top. Got really cold, but got to watch the sunset, nope, the sunrise up there, hiked back down, and then we just went to a little like, bakery before coming back here now. So now you can hear my coffee probably. It's getting started. I'm going to start working on, I need to do like a physical space reset. I need to clean today so that I can head into the week with my best foot forward Especially because honestly, this is a busy week at work A lot of like already scheduled things kind of going into most days have something additional in them this week And so I mean you'll see all of that as we get into it. I'm 24. I live in Atlanta I'm a pediatric medical social worker. <laughs> I'm looking around my kitchen. I, I really I really have some my work cut out for me today survived a Monday. Today I like got into work and I feel like things started off the bat like very quickly. Usually I like to get it on Monday, like review every chart, see everything that went on, discharge my old patients, like add in the new people that came in and just like to have like a very mindful moment about it. And today I didn't quite get to do that just because needs came up earlier in the morning. But what was nice about like everything I was getting consulted for was that like it was things that I could do, like transportation, I could help with that. Meal assistance, I could help with that. Answering questions, I can help with that. I guess let me turn so like I'm facing the light <laughs> instead of being so backlit. I feel like sometimes I get consulted on things that it's just like, I don't even know where to begin with this and also like can't really help. So it was nice to have little senses of like success throughout the day. I definitely enjoyed that. I also definitely have gotten home, showered, put on PJs. I feel like <laughs> that's what I need tonight. I think my plan is to sit and read for a little bit and then do some like computer work and then kind of just see where the night takes me. It's been a while. I don't know if this is true or false. I feel like it's been a while since I've had just like a nice chill evening in. I feel like that can't be the case though. I'm sure I've had to have other chill evenings things in but I guess I just like don't feel pressure to do much right now which is nice like my brain feels relaxed too for this little Monday which does feel good this week is kind of a busy one there's several things just like smushed into the work week I have two family meetings scheduled one on Thursday one on Friday I had a perinatal social work support group today that counts for group supervision towards my LCSW tomorrow oh gosh I have a dentist appointment tomorrow and I keep forgetting about it so I need to not forget about it tomorrow I have a dentist appointment <laughs> and then I think I also have like an hour and a half CEU continuing education unit Wednesday we have a staff meeting so there's just several scheduled things that aren't usually in a week that are in a week this week that I think is nice because it makes it like punctuated marks throughout the week to get through but also obviously just like puts more in a week. tell you about this book that I was reading because I've been in such a reading slump for the past like week 
two weeks, three weeks maybe even honestly. And I honestly have really been liking this book. It's an arc. So it comes out March 19th, 2024. Kill for me, kill for you. And it's like two wronged women basically like trade the men they want to get revenge on, if that makes sense. I'm about halfway through and it really has picked me up out of my reading slump, which has been absolutely incredible. Something that I just thought was so funny and I don't know why it's making me laugh, but they're talking about like a police car being nearby. And so it says a black and white and another unmarked squad car were parked along the curb outside the house. Silently, the flashing berries and cherries from the top of the patrol car sent blue and red light around the street. The flashing berries and cherries, like the police light. And now I just don't know if that's like a weird thing that this author said or if that's like a term that's actually used. Oh no, it threw me off. I've had a great night of reading. <laughs> I just got done with my dentist appointment and parked about to head into work. I'm only like 45 minutes late, which I feel like is awesome. My dentist appointment was at 7.30, so quite early. They said my dental hygiene is so good. I've been doing so good. Dentist appointments like should not be this sentimental, but this is my third appointment. So my first one was February of last year. And my first one was the dentist, like first one since I've been in Atlanta, since I moved to Atlanta, so it's been a couple years, was in the like doing hard things vlog whenever I went to the dentist and then went to a job fair in the same day. And like that job fair is now my current job so I feel like the dentist like this dentist appointment felt sentimental to me because I was like oh my gosh like last February when I was doing this then like I went home and I was so nervous and I like got dressed up and like headed to the job fair and then now here I am showing up to my actual job with like 10 months under my belt nine months under my belt I'm not sure exactly which one it is nine months nine and a half months under my belt and it's just wild how much has changed in a year and also my teeth are doing great I used to get dentist anxiety so much too like whenever I wasn't going because I was like I know I need to go to the dentist but I don't know how to establish myself with one. It was this whole big thing, but I did it. And now I'm a year in with the same dentist, third time seeing her, still doing great, pearly whites. <laughs> to do my nightly hot chocolate. It's like not every night, but almost nightly hot chocolate. I've been having to do it earlier this week because I had, I had an incident. <laughs> It's not an incident, but on Saturday night, I like chugged my water bottle and then had my hot chocolate like right before I went to bed, which was an issue because remember we sleep up on the loft. So like up the spiral staircase, I kept having to pee. Like I have kept having to walk down the spiral staircase and I was reaching the point where I was like, I'm so tired and I keep having to walk down these stairs. I ended up just like sleeping on the couch because I consumed way too much liquid right before bed. And so now I've had to fix that on myself. I have to be self accountable to have my hot chocolate like a few hours before before bed. Give things time to process so that I can rest well. Today I was busy at work, but I honestly, I got through the end of the day and I like forgot that I had gotten there late. I only got to work about 45 minutes late from my dentist appointment since it was so early. And so like that was 45 minutes less than usual, but I definitely fit like a whole day's worth of work into the day. And I didn't take a lunch. So to like make up time from getting in late. So I feel like I was kind of running around. I did work on my self-evaluation. Like it was my goal too. I feel like, I feel like I did well. I don't I don't know like how to self-evaluate in a job and apparently these are annual like I'm gonna have to do it every single year but I feel like it's hard to like look at the job description and just be like yeah I do that you know, like I don't know what else to say so I ended up doing like several paragraphs kind of because I really didn't know the format and so I just like kind of did the first one about like my transition into becoming a medical social worker and then I did the next one and like kind of the different job duties that I do in a day which is funny because like it's going to the people above me like they know what I do in a day better than I do and then I did a little paragraph that was like but outside of the day-to-day -day activities and like put some of the like extra things that I've done such as like helping plan our service of remembrance such as like sitting on a little committee that's like a mental health resource that's available to our families like partnering with them for the hospital because I feel like I don't know I feel like I've become good at what I do and I feel like the amount of growth I've had in the past year is like insane considering I knew nothing coming into this job but I also don't know how to like put that into words
words. But basically we do these self-evaluations annually and then they get sent to our managers and then like that's how merit raises are distributed. Like it's not only based on like what I say, obviously it's based on just like performance over the year, but this will be my first time ever getting a raise. It won't happen for a couple months. I don't think it happens until like May. And I think they've said in the past it's been like 2%, which doesn't really feel, I guess 2% more than what I would get now, but it doesn't really feel like it's gonna be life-changing <laughs> in the way that like I wish it could. Something non-work related that I've like really been looking forward to, like super looking forward to, is that I refilled out the skin quiz for Haldi. Haldi is like this free service where you fill out like this quiz about like your skin and what you want and like how many steps in a skin routine and a skincare routine you want and like what your budget is and that kind of thing. And the skin coaches, there's three of them, like it's a small business, come up with your skincare routine, like your recommended skincare routine. And then you can actually like buy from them the products. And so it's not like they're, they're not a skincare line. They just like help you pick products that are good for your skin, which is awesome. And I trust them. And I feel like I'm about to have to refill some things. And so I was going to look into buying skincare anyways, but then I also was like, what if I just like want to update a little bit because my skin is different than probably was like a year ago was the last time that I got recommendations from them. What is cute. I don't remember if I've been putting my referral link in the description. I'll put it in this description though. If you would like to take a skin quiz and get personalized recommendations for your skin. What's so cute about that though, there's probably about 30 of you who have used my link to like get the skincare recommendations. And I love it because it'll tell you and tell me too. It'll be like, this was recommended to like this friend of yours too, this friend of yours too. Like it'll show you the skincare products that you have in common. I wanna do a screen recording as we look at my new recommendations just cause I think that'd be fun. It's a fun activity <laughs> for us to do together. And I guess you'll see like how I was telling you. See, I was just like, we recommended this to Olivia and two other friends. So like Olivia, hi. we share a skincare routine. So I've used this face wash before and I did like it. And I will think about getting it again. Indy Lee Seriously Brightening Wash, or Brightening Cleanser. Indy Lee Brightening Cleanser. And then you can see they do notes, like an alternate morning cleanser we think you'll enjoy checking out. Will nourish your skin while cleansing and will help better balance your routine since the Vichy is an active cleanser. And that's good to know because the one that I've been using, the like Vichy skincare that I use that I really like and I feel like has really helped like clear up my skin is it's like active ingredients, which I've heard you're not supposed to use like every single day. So it could be good to balance things out. Pixie Clarity Tonic. Ooh, a new exfoliator. The exfoliator that I use right now is from Good Molecules and I got it in PR a while ago. I just love, I love that this is called liquid gold. Um, Serum for hyperpigmentation. I feel like that's what my facials address. This is the retinol that I have been using. And since it said like ideal retinol serum starter, that's why I wanted to do this again because I was like, if this is a good starter, like should I be doing something else now that I've used this for a year and a half? Cause I think I've liked it, but I also don't know if I've like noticed a change, but I also don't know if like you notice that with retinol or if it more so is like the lack of change over time with like, I don't know, wrinkles and stuff like that. Given you want to up your game, this is a sophisticated retinol. <laughs> The price is sophisticated too. And will be a game changer on your skin. Retinols can be tough on the skin, but this is well formulated and will give you the benefits of retinol without the side effects. Could replace the alpha H retinol. So that is something to think about. This face oil, I really like. I feel like I'm gonna be getting it again. I feel like my skin just like, <laughs> whenever I put it on. I was wearing it last night if I looked so glowy and radiant in that clip I took in bed. Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. I have used in light. I feel like I go through it so fast. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing that one. I've used this before and it was just eh. I mean, it was just like basic. Like it just didn't do anything extra. And I feel like with moisturizers, I really like to just like Okay, they gave a lot of moisturizers, which is awesome. Um, and then also mentioned the Vichy Normaderm moisturizer is more of an acne treatment, which we don't recommend using daily. What if my acne needs to be fought daily? <laughs> you ever think of that? <laughs> Okay, some pimple patches. Those are kind of cheap too. That's fun. And a mask. Definitely have some thinking to do. I feel like I'm planning for future purchases right now because I ate out a lot in the past couple of weeks. And I don't even know if I spent like all too much on it, but I just feel like I need to wait for another payday before <laughs> I purchase anything. <laughs> morning. Happy Wednesday. I feel like no matter what I tell myself, I'm going to do different in a week. Always my laundry is like hanging up here to be in the back of videos. <laughs> These vlogs star me and my drying rack. Today I have a staff meeting. I always look forward to staff meetings, which I know is such a like uncommon thing. I just love all of the social workers in the building being in the same room. I love getting the like little updates that we get. Like I just, I'm such a gal for an agenda. Like just move down the agenda. Tell me all the things. I'm nosy. I love information. And I feel like I get those 
those at staff meetings. They also usually bring snacks. And then we also get, oh, this is exciting. So today is February 28th, not to be confused with the last day of the month, which is tomorrow. <laughs> but social work month is March, March. I don't know what I was gonna follow that with. Social work month is March. And so we got a calendar yesterday. That's like what fun things will be going on in March. They have so much food for us coming. So many like fun snack Fridays, a little like social work luncheon, social work breakfast, massages. There's one day in March, I get to go to a six and a half hour CEU, which is exciting. So I feel like I was looking at that calendar yesterday and I was getting so excited. I was putting in my own like personal Google calendar, like get breakfast in this classroom from this hour to this hour on this day or like, go get ice cream from this room <laughs> at this time on Friday. I'm also a girl who loves activities <laughs> and so this is my first like social work month that gets kind of celebrated and appreciated so I'm looking forward to that. Today's breakfast is irrelevant to that. Today's breakfast is like a company or an agency that's like working to establish a partnership so I guess they're they're schmoozing us. I'll eat whatever they schmooze us with. I also have to finish my self-evaluation today. It is due today, and if I don't submit it, I don't get to evaluate myself. I don't get to have any say in like my merit-based raise. I finished, I forget if I told you this, I finished the actual evaluation part, and I was so excited, and I clicked next. Like I typed it in, finished, clicked next, thinking I was done, and I'm not done. I have to come up with like ways I would like to grow in this year, and then I was like, and how can your manager support you in this? And see, the thing about me, if you remember from my New Year's videos, is that 2020 2024 is not a year of growth for me. 2024 is a year of stagnation. <laughs> but I don't think I can say that in my self-evaluation. Like even when talking with my supervisor, she's like, and what are your professional goals? I'm like, literally just like to be here and that's it. Which I think honestly is fair because at this point in my job, this is the longest time that I've done anything consecutively because school years are about nine months. My last job I stayed at for 10 months. So like I'm approaching this being the longest I've ever done anything ever in my life ever. So I'm like, I feel like that is my goal. It's like to successfully do that and to not like get the itch to change everything about my life again. And then next year I'll work on my clinical license, but I can't do that this year. I have to wait till next year. My supervisor was saying like, well, maybe you want to join a committee. And I was like, mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, apparently that's what I think about that. <laughs> no, I just like don't feel it in myself. There's no committees and I'm like, oh, that seems so fun and interesting and worthy of spending my paid time outside of my regular job duties. So we'll see what I come up. I don't know what paragraph I can type about like my growth other than just being like, continue growing. That's my goal for the day though. I feel like there's a couple of new families that I haven't met yet that I'll maybe try to meet today. And then I mean, I never know what the day is like whenever I walk into it. There could be something waiting for me to address that I just have no idea yet at this point. But that is the rundown of the day. I will be walking to work today. I've been listening to Lauren Graham, AKA Lorelai Gilmore's audiobook. It's fine. I feel like, I mean, I like Lorelai Gilmore. I think I like Lauren Graham. I don't really know her outside of being Lorelai Gilmore. Like I just assume they're the same person. It just feels like a lot, like the, the jokes and the personality. I'm like, we're doing a lot, but it's still interesting. But I think on my walk today, I'm gonna listen to an episode of Brittany Broski's podcast. I've never listened to her before, but I feel like her podcast has come up just like randomly throughout my life so many times in the past week. Just like hearing people talk about it or like seeing people reference it on TikTok or something. Like, I feel like maybe I would enjoy this. So, audiobook, Brittany Broski's podcast. I finished the Kill for Me, Kill for You book last night. It was good. I gave it 4.25 because I genuinely enjoyed the journey reading through it. There was a couple plot twists. So, I was like, meh, I don't know if that's necessarily what I would have picked. But overall, it was good. It comes out March 19th. And then I picked another arc that I'll start today when I take lunch. Notice that I'm saying when I take lunch because I will take lunch today. I will do that. like we've had a lot of car clips so far this vlog but I'm waiting for it to be my time to go into ballet they tell us not to like walk in more than 10 minutes early and I always run over 10 minutes early to places I'm in Zach's car though because mine is dead I tried to leave to drive to ballet in it and it was dead which is a chronic problem for me and now it's making me like start to crunch numbers in my head of like can I buy a new car is it worth buying a new car should I wait until I'm using my car more often to buy a new car and then also like not only is it expensive to buy a new car but like registering my car in Georgia paying taxes on that whatever that takes I don't really know car insurance would change and probably go up <laughs> I was like now my head's stressed but it's probably good that I'm at ballet because I feel like I don't know I feel like ballet has been like a brain break for me like I get to think in a therapeutic way during it but like I'm mostly just focused on like the actual doing of ballet which is pretty nice 
I left work just a wee bit late today, like 15 minutes late because we had our staff meeting and it ran a little bit over. Overall, pretty chill day today. I feel like I was able to just kind of wrap up some loose ends, kind of prepare for some things. I feel like tomorrow maybe a little bit bigger of a day. I have a family meeting right in the morning. So at least then it's done in the morning. And so that if there's anything I need to do in my day after that, um, I can because that'll already be done. I'm trying to think though. I don't for real know like my brain is just like overthinking right now but I'm gonna head into ballet I'm gonna have a great ballet class I've been loving loving coming to ballet and I feel like I've been like my body is capable of still doing things that like I didn't know it was still capable of doing which is really cool I went to the I forget if I told you I don't think I did because I didn't vlog it <laughs> I went to the level up like the little bit harder level on Saturday which is the first one that I ever went to but then I've been coming to the easier level since then and it was a lot of fun it was a whole lot of fun but I really like this class too so I'm gonna kind of do like every other week I may go twice but since the harder levels on Saturday, it makes it more likely to have other things come up that like interrupt it and make it so I can't go. But good to catch up. Say prayers for my little dead car. At least I have a car battery now that like I'll be able to jump it. I just have to figure out how to use it. of the day getting ready for Thursday I got <laughs> do you see my feet I'm here really far away you can just go like this that's what I usually do I got my purple fig pants on I got a purple blue blue top on it's like it's a light blue it's, like a, it's a light purple light blue well one thing about people whose favorite colors is purple is that you're gonna know and I got my new Got my new hokas. Yeah, I certainly. Oh yeah, you can see. My new hokas. Turns out I've been wearing the wrong size this whole time. She's a men's size 11 now. My yeah, I guess my feet must have grown a little bit. <laughs> um, no, these are cool. Do so we have to? We should. I don't know if they have these colors for me. Okay, I'll try the other ones. You got the other shoes too. <laughs> Gosh, spoiled. These are the ones that feel like. Oh, these are a little squeezy on me. I know, they're perfect. I don't know if these ones fit. <laughs> yeah, I get what you need them. I mean, I've also, I've had these things in my so I know that. You're so smart. I know, I know. Gotta make sure y'all can see the full effect. The work week is done. It is Saturday morning and I am about to go ahead to my facial. I don't exactly know what we're doing today. She kind of just picks and chooses <laughs> based on my skin. What's up? I feel embarrassed because my skin was doing so well. And then I had this like little clogged pore that I shouldn't have messed with, but I messed with. And I gave myself this little like spot up here. So it was totally self-induced. I go to a licensed esthetician who's in Virginia Highlands in Atlanta. And I really love her. I've been going since October monthly and genuinely like ignore that but everything else I feel like is going really well I have not yet had coffee because it is 8 46 and I was really worried that if I had coffee before going to my 9 a.m facial that I would have to pee <laughs> during the facial so my plan is to stop by a little coffee shop on the way home after the facial a little treat the Saturday is kind of fun because I have more than one thing going on <laughs> like usually I don't do too much in the weekends but I have my facial today and then we are going to see Dune 2 this afternoon so that's another exciting thing and then I started a lot of loads of laundry this morning and we'll kind of finish those up I really want to get the apartment in like tip-top shape because I feel like it's been a while since it's been in tip-top shape so those are all my plans <laughs> done with my facial she did some micro needling it's not as bad mm, gosh 
<laughs> it's not as bad as last time whenever I had the spots all over my face, but she even was saying how pleased she is with like my progress and everything, which I'm definitely really feeling in my skin progress too. And it was an hour and 45 minutes today and I actually fell asleep, like full fell asleep for the first time since I've been getting facials. I feel like usually I'm not all the way there, but you know, you just lay in there for the longest time. I was out this time and I told her that. She was like, yeah, because it wasn't traumatizing this time because <laughs> I didn't need to get like that many extractions and even the micro needling was only a few spots. So I'm feeling good. I ended up not going by the coffee shop because I was like, well, I have breakfast and I have coffee at home and I'm trying to save money like a little bit at least. And so I was like, I'll, I'll save my coffee shop trip for a time when I'm like really desiring it, really needing it in that moment. And I just don't think that this morning was that. Um, I am starting to get like a little feeling in the head though that's like, Anna, please drink coffee. Please have some caffeine. <laughs> review of Dune 2 is that it was really good. I feel like people keep talking about like the cinematics of it and definitely seeing it in the theater is just like, I don't know, you're like in awe because it is super beautiful. I honestly don't know if you're like not familiar with Dune, like the book and stuff or Dune the first movie. Like it's a hard story to like pick up on. I feel like, I feel like people like have to work to understand what's going on and like myself included, even though I read the book, I read the book back in August and made it my like entire personality trait while I was doing so. But I feel like if you're interested, it is good. And I mean, Zendaya is incredible. Honestly, Austin Butler is incredible in his role too. His role is like very different than anything I've ever seen Austin Butler do since I've only ever seen him on like Nick and Disney. <laughs> I know he's done stuff since then, but like that's where I know him from. And he is this like sociopathic young ruler with a little hunger for blood in the movie with like a bald head and his eyebrows shaved, but he does it really well. So that was very good to see. I have spent a lot of time in the past 24 hours, like actually working on a budget and everything. I feel like I always track my spending, but I don't necessarily like track my spending with any kind of purpose or goal behind it, which has been fine because I haven't necessarily had like huge financial goals that like I'm really trying to save for or something like that. But something that I have decided is that I think by the end of the year, I want to buy a new car. The last time I bought a new car, as you maybe know, because I talk about it a bit. Well, I've never bought a new car. The last time I bought a car that was new to me <laughs> was 2018, which I just like bought in cash. And that's the car that I have now. And I mean, it's been good. It also has had like chronic problems and I feel like at least every two years I've had to drop like $1,500 on it and it just is getting older and also like I'm working making big girl money So like might as well see what I can do with that, you know <laughs> So that was kind of my thought but then I was always just thinking like eh, maybe sometime in the future I'll get a new car and I've started like actually trying to plan it out and trying to decide like how much I need to save and everything because my goal is to not have a high car payment I would like to be able to save and have as much of a down payment as I can but with the cars that I'm like looking at which maybe I'm getting like ahead of myself in my means um <laughs> the cars that I'm looking at I really need to save for a down payment like I need to save a lot <laughs> what I would like the most and I don't know if it's gonna be what I end up getting but like if I could pick which I've never had like a dream but right now if I could get any car I would get a Toyota RAV4 hybrid because I've only ever had small cars and so I would like an SUV I love RAV4s and getting a hybrid to where like the miles per gallon is actually like really good despite the car being big it would be so ideal I like white ones with a little black interior. <laughs> That's my that's my thought. However, that's like thirty five thousand dollars, which is um a lot of thousand dollars. <laughs> that's a lot of dollars. Which I get that like you can finance cars, so I don't need to save thirty five thousand. However, the like guidelines, if you look it up, is that usually you don't want a car payment to be more than eight percent of your income. If I follow that rule, I would need to save like twenty five thousand dollars to put as a down payment, and then finance the rest like ten thousand or so. This is like obviously all speculation because I'm not get close to actually purchasing it, but I feel like since I don't have too many like other huge expenses in my life, it would be okay 
if I go above 8%. Obviously still trying to like stay within my means, but I've just been so crunching numbers lately and being like, oh wow, like I need to save more than what I make in a month is what I need to save, <laughs> which is kind of discouraging. So I've been like trying to finagle the numbers differently and also realize that if I'm gonna get a new car, it doesn't necessarily have to be like my perfect ideal, whatever. And I also like, I still could get a pre-owned car and that's totally fine. Like as long as I just get another car and it's non-urgent too, because truly, as you know, I don't use my car daily. I use my car probably like once or twice a week to go to ballet since I either walk or take a bus to work. However, that part will change in October. Starting in October, I'll have to use my car daily to get to work because my actual work location will be moving. And so that was kind of like my loose goal was like, okay, maybe by then hopefully is when I could get a new car. But then I was like, oh, so I'm gonna have to save $2,300 a month, which is um, not feasible. <laughs> so it's been me and my budget sheet against the world. But I think I've actually come up with a plan that maybe could work where I'm saving like about 1500 a month, which is still a lot and is still just about like one paycheck basically. But I'm kind of holding out for like, hopefully I can get social media income that can like help pad my savings a little bit because all of that usually just goes to savings anyways. Or it's okay if I finance like a little bit more and have like a little bit higher of a monthly payment as long as I don't make anything that's like crippling that I won't be able to pay obviously. And also like it'll be okay if I get like a Toyota Corolla Cross hybrid, which is cheaper and a bit smaller of an SUV, but isn't like in my mind exactly what I want. Like I, I don't think I have it in me to be so super picky that I have to spend a yearly salary on a car. That feels wild. But it's just like new to me to think of the fact it's like, oh, I could actually, like it is, it will be possible if I like stringently save to get a new car or at least new to me car, <laughs> hopefully by the end of this year, which is kind of fun. And it kind of also shows like in January, whenever I was like, oh, what goals do I have? And I was like, financial goals, fill up my Roth IRA. And like, that was it. Like I didn't have any other inspiration or anything to do. So like what I'm doing now with like planning out each month and like what I want to save each month very much feels like a beginning of the year, like January type of <laughs> routine. But it's just because now I have that goal, but I didn't two months ago whenever the year was actually starting. And so with that then too, I'm like trying to figure out what monthly expenses I'll have this month. And I did delegate myself some, some money for skincare. Like we talked about so far in the beginning of this video, I still don't know what I'm buying, but I am about to run out of face wash and I am about to run out of moisturizer. So I need to be getting something, even if it's not like the fancy stuff that I was looking at earlier, I need to be getting something soon. And then I also am delegating myself some money for my YouTube setup, well, which will end up being a write-off at the end of the year. But because truly what I've been doing for the past, at least since I've moved into this apartment is like my camera will quite literally just like set on things that are around it. Let me show you, I'll take a little picture. Smile. <laughs> And notice my my boba <laughs> that's still sitting right there too that I haven't cooked yet. My camera will just like set on things. And I have two tripods, one of which broke and one of which is like so cheap and flimsy that I don't feel comfortable putting my camera on it. So like those obviously don't work for me. So I'm going to be looking at getting new tripods, one like an actual big tripod that could like set my camera and make it be more variable to where I don't just like rely on <laughs> the different locations that I happen to have things stacked around the apartment to set my camera on. And then another one that's like more of like a holder, like just a small little tripod that my camera can sit on instead of but then while I was looking at those, I was like, I should also get a phone tripod because I have been trying to up my TikTok game and up my Instagram reel game as I feel like I've been trying for a long time. Instagram reels, I never like have paid any kind of focus to. I've kind of been repurposing TikToks into Instagram reels, which I feel like was a, a brave thing for me because my Instagram, I like, that's where like people who know me follow me, you know? So I don't usually post like reels and stuff on there, but I have started and I have kind of started to like it. So I'm thinking of getting like one of those kind of like tall but bendable tripods so that it can help me make short form content. I'm really trying to like think of things that will make the things I'm wanting to do be easier for me, you know? Cause like right now I can say, oh, I want like, oh, I want to up my TikTok name. But if the TikToks that like I actually want to make in my head, I like genuinely can't because I don't have like, I just have to hold my phone or like prop it up around. Then it's like, that's an easy way to make what I want to achieve easier for me. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then I'm doing like a mini March reset kind of, I feel like with the budget and the purchasing planning and stuff like that, instead of making like a March reset, video but then the other kind of goal that I'm thinking for myself as I'm going to be planning content wise this month is I think so often in my head I'll be like oh I'm gonna like vlog this weekend and then also make a TikTok of this weekend whereas 
one that's like repurposing content in the same way you know what i mean like it doesn't actually have to be in a vlog and on a tiktok like i think i need to start focusing on like if i'm going to make a like weekend long tiktok then like just focusing on that tiktok so it can actually be the best that it can be or if i'm going to be making like a weekend long vlog like just doing the vlog so it can be the best it can be because i feel like right now i've been divvying myself up to where it's like each thing gets 50 percent of effort and like 50 percent of quality instead of just like focusing on one and making it like actually good and so as i'm planning this upcoming month instead of being like oh i'm gonna you know make all three of these types of content for this like one thing which then has me like walking around my phone and be like okay vertical okay horizontal oh no like i forgot to take no i don't want to do that anymore <laughs> So I'm gonna be planning that to try to make it be better for me too. So that like truly the pieces of video that I'm putting out in this world can be like best fit for the platforms that they're on and actually be beneficial without just like posting the same things all over the place. That was a lot of thoughts in my head. It's been a while since we caught up. So like I just, <laughs> just need to tell you all of my thoughts.